Hi there, today we're going to create a simple uh, Java program and we're going to use the print line method. We're also going to use the print method uh, in this program. Along with that, we're going to uh, cover how to change the uh, window settings so that you can view file name extensions. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a notepad file. So I'm going to go start, run, CMD, I'm sorry, not CMD, but notepad. And now that I've got notepad up and running, I'm just going to go file and I'm going to click save as. And I'm going to save this as uh, to my desktop as demo with a capital D. So D E M O. And notice that my D right there has a capital D. Oh yes, I want to replace it. Okay, so notice how here on my desktop um, you cannot see the file name extension of uh, of demo. Um, all files have a file name extension, whether it's a Word document. Uh, uh, Word documents have a file name extension of uh, .doc. Excel documents have a file name extension of .xls and notepad files have an extension of .txt it's the extension uh, that tells the operating system what program to open up that file with so notice that I cannot see the file name extension here of this file to change that you need to go to start you need to go to my computer you need to go to tools folder options you're gonna go to the view tab and then find in here where it says hide extensions for known file types. We don't want to hide extensions for known file types, so you're going to click off of that, click apply, and then click OK. And now when I go back to my desktop, what do you know? There's .txt. I can now see the file name extension. So the <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to change this .txt to a .java. So yes. So now this is a Java source file, and I can uh, start adding code to it. So I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say open with notepad, and I'm going to start typing my code in here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some comments. So forward slash, forward slash, that's how you start a comment in Java. I'm going to say this is a Java program. Next, I'm going to say public class demo. This right here has to be the exact same name as your file. If I capitalize D, then I have to capitalize D right here. So, public class demo, and I'm going to have an open bracket, and I'm going to have a closed bracket. You're always going to have an even number of brackets um, in, uh, uh, when you're writing Java programs. You're never going to have an odd number. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to click tab, public, static, void, main, capital S for string, space, um, <clears throat> regular bracket, there we go, regular bracket, closed regular bracket, and then args. I'm going to have an open bracket right here, I'm going to have another closed bracket right here. So this right here is the uh, class uh, heading, this right here is the main method heading, and we don't really need to know what these are uh, right now, we'll eventually um, talk about them in the future, but right now we're just concentrating on writing instructions for our first program. So, we're going to type system dot out, and system right here has a capital S, the rest is lowercase, system dot out dot print ln, that's an L right there, not a 1, sometimes it looks like a 1 in a notepad, parentheses, or uh, parentheses, quotation marks, this is the demo quotation marks and parentheses and at the end of every statement in Java I'm always going to have a semicolon. Next up I'm going to type system.out.println this um, is <clears throat> a statement quotation marks semicolon and print ln and Goodbye. There we are. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use just the regular print method. When I compile this and run, we'll see actually the difference between print line and print. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I can close this. And I have um, my uh, my demo Java file right here. So I've got my source code in there. Now I need to compile it. So I'm going to go to Start. Command, CMD. I'm going to find this file. So I'm going to go to 
Documents and Settings. I'm going to my desktop. So there it is, demo.java. So to compile this, I type Java C space capital D E M O dot Java. Press enter, and it will compile. Eventually, here it is. So notice it just compiled, and I should be able to find it here. There it is. There's demo.class. So now I've got this compiled file, and I can run it if I type Java space demo. I never, I don't need to type the dot class at the end. All I have to do is type demo because the uh, the Java program here knows to just run the class file. So I'm press enter. So this is the demo. This is a statement. Goodbye. So let's go back into our code here, and I'll explain what's happening. So this right here is a comment, of course. These are instructions. So this first line is saying, print the line, this is the demo. So that's what it did. It printed that line, this is the demo. And then with your print line command, it'll send the cursor down to the next line. So that's what happened. So it sent the cursor down here, and then this statement printed. So it printed, this is the statement. But unlike print line, this method right here, the print method, um, doesn't move the cursor down to the next line. So therefore, when this printed, the goodbye statement, it was on the same line. So that's the difference between print line and print. So this is our program that we ran. We uh, created a simple Java program. We uh, used the print line method, and then we used the print method, and we also uh, reviewed how to change how to change the Windows settings so that we could view the file name extensions in, on Windows. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.